previously on the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to our Forest Green Rovers Youth Edition Career Mode. We sit in 21st position, haven't picked up that win yet. Hopefully we can find it in this episode. We've got five draws and three losses. The goal scoring seems to be a little bit of an issue, but we did find a couple there in the last episode. No player upgrade today. I am having to pre-record a few of the episodes. Um, I'm actually going away on holiday at this stage. Uh, early next week, so I'm just trying to get ahead so that you guys at home have daily content. So uh, let's get into this one and uh, see if we can possibly pick up our first win of the season as we round up September. Uh, we'll get into some more youth reports at the end of the episode. All right, here we go. First game of the episode is Forest Green at home at the Ecotricity Arena hosting Swindon Town. Still undefeated at home, of course. But uh, Swindon do sit in second position, so they're having a fairly decent season. A goal difference of 11, so they're smashing them in. And, uh, well, you'd assume that our defence will be have to ready for another onslaught. Uh, I made a couple of changes to the starting lineup. Wilson is going to come in now and be the starting centre midfielder. Uh, I feel he's probably a better option than Koulibaly. He seems a little bit more creative. And Swindon are the best defensive team. Well, oh, fuck. That doesn't play well for us because we can't score a goal to save our life most of the time. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see if we can you know, find an avenue forward. I'm going to start Wynn up front instead of Robinson. Wynn has scored a goal. Robinson has not. So uh, I guess that plays in his favour. You never, never know. All right. Let's get into this game here against Wynn. Out wide. Kim. Back to Wilson. Takes the strike. Good block from the defence. It's an early corner here for Forest Green. Vassal Crab delivers. Wilson gets the header way off target. Swindon push forward. Wilson gets up and does well. It's over. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Someone. Holy shit, Dick. How did we survive that? And we're away here through Wilson. He slips it off. Win. Down the line. Finds Kim. Swindon all over us like a cheap suit at the moment. Slips it inside. Wilson, that's a poor touch. And I like the look of Wilson. He's getting around everywhere. Oh, good save, Dior. Swindon putting the pressure on here early. Oh, Ailman, what was the touch, mate? Good work, Morris. Oh, for fuck's sake, someone do something. Dior, thank you very much. Got to be half time at nil nil. We are weathering a storm. Wilson finds the opening. Tries something sneaky. No one near it. Ball up the line here for Kim. Kim pushes on through the midfield. No one really coming at him. He slides it out wide for win. Back inside for Kim. Get in, son. One nil Forest Green Rovers. 60th minute. We hit them on the counter. And Kim gets his first goal of the season. And it's 1-0 FGR. Slipped it out to Win. Win slipped it back into Kim. And Kim punishes it home. 1-0. Winner, winner, win chicken dinner. Get in, my son. Yes, lad. We've got the lead here against second place Swindon. And you know what's going to happen now. Give it three or four minutes and it'll be one all. Hung Woo Kim. Oh, Edamov does his man nicely. It's on forward, gets this ball forward. It's win. Oh, somehow he comes away with it. Allen trying to feed it inside, but the defense was too strong from Swindon. Oh, here's a run. And it's so with the fresh legs, and he's got some pace, the young lad. He's taking the game on here, the young so. Cuts back around. Can he get across? 
No, no two men to beat off. Oh, and he gets the ball back. That is persistence. I love it. Ailman looks for Allen. Oh, You're referencing this Robinson. Just needs to hold up the play and use his strength, and he does. He works his way down the wing here, big Robbo. Here comes the cross into the box, picked off. Falls out to Allen. Slips it off here for So, who takes a strike from range. Just taking a deflection. And it is a corner now for Forrest Green. Singh whips it in. Punched out the back. Who's going to get here first? It's Menza. Finds Morris. Left back, playing centre back. He's caught out. Good work from So. Off to Menza. Back to So. Quick ball on here for Allen. Alman's got himself a knock and an injury. Doesn't matter. Sings picked it up out wide. Goes back here for Ailman. Here comes the cross into the box. Oh, picked off. Sing to So. Oh, good save. But we're into the 90th minute. We just need to hold on here. It's Swindon now pushing forward. Ailman's got an injury. Good work, Mansa. Yes! Yes! A victory for the Forest Green Rovers. It's 1-0 over second place Swindon. And we take our first three points of the season. Brilliant from the boys. That's what we want. Grit and determination. Well, 12 shots to 6, 55% possession. We came to play and we get our first win of the season. Hun Woo Kim gets himself an 8.6. Pretty decent effort. Uh, Dylan Allen a 7.0. Arbalang Singh, 6.1. Henry Robinson came on and got a 6.5. Matthew Wynn gets himself an 8.3 with an assist. Uh, Edimov, a 7.0. Vassal Krayev, 7.9. Thought he had a pretty decent game. Patrice Dior, 7.7. Gets himself a clean sheet. Andre Krav, 8.1. Was very instrumental today from uh, right back. Uh, Dado Mensah, 7.3. Our defense held strong. Joel Morris gets an 8.0. He had an outstanding game. Walter Aylman, 7.8, though he looks like he's picked up a knock. Alfie Wilson, only a 6.8. Sun Hee So came on for a 6.8. And that is the full squad. Get voting in the eye in the top right corner. All right, here we go. Game number two of the episode. We go to the Abbey Stadium to take on Cambridge United. If you're a fan of Cambridge United, make sure you go and check out SJH Sports. He is back on the yard grind. Uh, he is back on YouTube, and he is doing a youth series this year. So go and check out his channel. He's been away for a couple of years, but uh, he is back into it. If you like your youth stuff, go and check out SJH Sports. He is in the description if you're looking for a link. But... Uh, all right, I'm sure he'll be up for this game, and I'm hoping that we're up and about here to take on Cambridge. We only just, uh, in real life, FDR just played at Cambridge and lost 3-0. So uh, hopefully we can turn that around. The fuckers have got five at the back, pretty much. Uh, an interesting formation. There could be some gaps. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, this is only a couple of days after the last game, so we've made a few rotations through the lineups, and um, we're just going to get out here... Hopefully the next squad report brings us back some big centre-backs. So we've got Dior, Krab, Menzo, Morris, Alman, uh, the usual suspects across the back. Koulibaly comes back into the midfield. Singh and Park out on the wings and Robinson up front. Come on, Forrest Green, let's make it two for two. Very, very close opportunity there. Looks like he split his pants uh, in the process of taking that shot. Just wide. Singh. Down the line, gets the run here from Dylan Allen. Oh, legged! Referee! Learn how to play a free kick, mate. Oh, beaten for pace. Beaten in the air, good save from Dior. Finally starting to do something. Here is Allen. Barley tries to get in the way. That is a great ball through. Oh, Dior starting to make a name for himself. He's had a few howlers this season, but uh, he started well here. Oh, Allen with the steal. He blazes through the middle here, Allen. Slips it off to Singh. Back inside, Allen! Yes! Allen! Allen! 1-0! And he's got himself his third goal of the season. Well, well, what a ball. Slips it out to Singh and Singh a song of six, but slips it inside. Allen smashes it home. That's the finish we were looking for. And the new number nine 
tips off their fingers, off the gloves of the keeper, and it's in, and it's 1-0 Forest Green Rovers here at Cambridge. And is this a resurgence? Is this a revival? Dylan Allen, his third goal in the 23rd minute, 1-0 Forest Green. Robinson flicks it off. Koulibaly! Yes! 2-0! 2-0 Forest Green! And Koulibaly strikes his first goal of the season. Well, he's been benched. And he gets the start here and absolutely grabs the game by the scruff of the neck. Lovely ball from Robinson. And Koulibaly has finished it. Cool as a cucumber. It is 2-0 Forest Green Rovers. Oh, dear. Where are you now, Cambridge? Well, we better not count our tickets before they hatch. And two men are rolling around on the ground there, trying to cause each other a mischief. It's Ibrahim Koulibaly. It's his first League 2 goal. And it's 2-0, Forest Green Rovers. And there is half-time at 2-0, Forest Green. Who would have thought? And the away fans are absolutely ecstatic with this performance. We just need to follow it up in the second half. Rav, Allen. Robinson, Koulibaly, oh he's hit the sidebar, unlucky, great build up play, Robinson now pushing on forward, Sits this one off to Park, here comes the cross, Koulibaly, oh sidebar again, oh that is a goal, that is a well worked goal there from Cambridge, in the 67th, 62nd minute, there's not much we could do there. We're controlling the space, but a good ball inside. And they get one back here. The home fans happy with that finish. Down the line, Crab looked to have him covered, but the cross came in. Morris caught behind. And it's a free header on Dior. It's 2-1. So we'll build up play here. That's a ball onto Robinson. Flicks it off. Allen shoots. Oh, he's hit the sidebar as well. That's three for the game. Castle Krav. Koulibaly. He's got Park. Good save. And cleared away. Oh, no. Get it out. Good work, Krav. Koulibaly. We're under pressure. Here comes Cambridge. They're looking for that equaliser. Don't let them have it. It's over the back. Dior. There it is! Two for two! Forest Green win on the road. It's a 2-1 victory over Cambridge. What a performance and the away fans absolutely ecstatic. Get in. Well, what a performance from the lads. Nine shots to six, 55% possession. And let's take a look at the performance ratings. Dylan Allen has a 9.1. A very good game from Dylan. Um, one goal. 7.8 for Eugene Park. Patrice Dior gets himself a 7.4. Andre Craven 7.7, had a very good game. Uh, Dadu Metzar at centre-back, 7.6. Joel Morris at centre-back, 7.9. Walter Ullman at left-back, 7.4. Ibrahim Koulibaly had an outstanding game. He got a goal and an 8.8. .8. Vassal Krav controlled the central defensive midfield with a 7.5. Hung Woo Kim came on for a 6.1. Uh, Sun Hee So, 5.9 in limited game time. Uh, Matthew Wynn, 6.2. And Henry Robinson, a 9.1. Lovely assist. Abalang Singh, an 8.4. Great game all round from Forest Green. Get voting up in the eye. All right, Crew Alexander in for Bradley Collins, 400 grand. Accept. All right, Win Singh, Evtimov, and the Krav brothers are all away on international duty. And John Moran has been sold, 99 grand to be finalized as soon as the transfer window opens. All right, game three of the episode. We're back at home here at the Ecotricity Arena. And well, two wins for Forest Green. Can we make it three? Still undefeated at home, and the boys starting to find a little bit of touch. We have moved up to 17th position, 11 points on the board. Accrington, Stanley sit dead last. All right, rotations into the side once again. Just trying to keep everyone fresh with the amount of games you play here in League Two. So it's Dior, Krav, Menta, Morris, Aylman, Wilson, Krav, Kim, Allen, Edamov, and Wynn starts up front. Let's go. Allen, 
Good touch on. Takes a strike. Good save. Good bloody save. Allen. Kim. Win. Allen. Oh, good block. Some good build-up play happening here at the moment. And a mob. Allen. It's the run on here. Crab. Slips it out wide. It's Kim. Yes! Gets in! Kim! I think that's his second goal now of the season. Brilliant finish. Forest Green Rovers on the run. And it is 1-0 at home. Brilliant work. Home fans ecstatic about that. Oh, a lovely run from Kim out on the left-hand side. I'm supposed to be on the right, but no worries. You can play there. A lovely little low-driven shot. Does the keeper in. And that's 1-0 Forest Green. Oh, Dior, man! Are you fucking serious? He can do some special things, but he can be an absolute muppet. What the hell? The goalkeeping on FIFA 18 is an absolute shambles. Oh, that is disgusting. I, I am absolutely disgusted at that. What on earth? Why would you punch it for starters? Look at this. Little chip shot and misses it completely. And the little head up just helps it in. It didn't matter, it was going in anyway. What a retard. Retard alert! Very close for another goal there for Accrington, but at half time it's 1 1 after another howler from Dior. This one forward, here's Dylan Allen. Oh, that's a great turn. Dylan Allen, oh! Pushes through the middle. Oh, still goes, Kim. Still goes, Kim. Oh! Allen. Rob. Inside. Robinson. Wilson. Oh, damn it. Well, there is full time. 1-1 one, one draw. Still undefeated at home. And we'll take another point. Well, nine shots to six. Even possession once again. And Vassal Crab with an 8.9. Lovely assist from him. Uh, Wynn gets a 7.3. Sun Hee So, a 6.0 came on late. Uh, Avalang Singh, a 6.0. Henry Robinson, 6.8 came on late. Hung Woo Kim, 7.9 with one goal. Uh, Edamov, a 7.0. Dylan Allen, a 7.6. He was very good in the midfield today. Uh, Patrice Dior, a 7.1. Andre Krava, 7.0. Daru Mensa, 7.1. Joel Morrison, 8.0, had a very good game. Walter Alman, a 7.6. Alfie Wilson, 6.9. There we go. Done. Get voting. All right, U Squad monthly report. Sun Tzu Rim is down to a 72, so we're going to release him. Uh, Charles Allen, our scout future star, 86 to 94, coming along nicely. And uh, Sergei Dabogo, 74 to 90. Well, he might be handy. He might not be as uh, error prone as bloody Dior has been of late, but uh, still only 15. All right, this is the final scout report from the Ivory Coast. Let's see if there's anyone worth signing up. Uh, he is rubbish. We don't need him. No, thank you. We'll pass. Kamara is a goalkeeper, 52 to 66, 67 to 85. Could possibly be worth a look at six foot five. Uh, Daniel Kone, 37 to 53, 53 to 75, possibly a centre back at six foot seven. We might need to bring him in. Uh, what else have we got here? Sissoko is rubbish. Debogo is crap. Oh, there is one. Dauda Bamba. Yes, he will be getting a, a call up. All right, so Dauda Bamba will get a contract. We'll have a look at Kamara, and uh, we'll have a look at uh, Daniel Kone. All right, the final report here from South Korea. Uh, Ko is a left winger. He's not going to get a crack. Pyeongchol Mok. Yes, he looks very good. Um, possibly a left midfielder or centre midfielder. 76 to 94. We'll give him a uh, call up. Sang Hung Sip. Um, he's only 15, 5 foot 7. No, we'll probably hold off. Um, Ji Hu Jill. Uh, no, probably not what we need either. And Hyung Ki Young. Um, well, he's 16, so he could possibly come in and fill a role. Yeah, we'll take a look. We might need another midfielder. So, uh, Pyong Chol Mok and Hyung Ki Yun 
will be added to the Youth Academy. All right, the final report is back from England. Ethan Davis, no thank you. Uh, Ethan Griffiths, six foot three, 50 to 70, probably not. Morgan White looks okay, could possibly be uh, a defensive player. 44 to 58, 67 to 91, we'll bring him in for a look. Uh, along with Taylor King, 60 to 80. No, I'm gonna pass on King. Oh yes, Henry Green, 53 to 71, 79 to 94. We will add him to the Youth Academy. So Morgan White and Henry Green will be added. The rest, see you later. All right, so we are ready to send the scouts out and all of the comments that got added uh, in episode one, I've made a complete list. Uh, at this stage, there's 353. I will add to them if any more get added, but at this stage, 353 different uh, comments. Thank you very much. The support, unbelievable. But if you're not familiar, this is how we do this. I've got a random number generator here on the phone. Uh, between 1 and 353. I'll hit the button, whatever number comes out, that's where we're scouting. All right, here we go. 165, let's see who that one is from. 165, okay, this one comes from Rory Patterson and he wants Scotland for a playmaker, done. All right, next country we are headed off to is 293. There are so many of these. And uh, that's great. I just love it. Um, this one comes from Gunners Fan 101423. He wants China for a winger. All right. And the last one is 156. Uh, this one comes from Ethan Cunnison. Uh, good luck for the series. Brazil for physically strong. No worries. Let's go. All right. Let's check this Youth Academy out and see who is worth bringing in. Now, uh, Deuda Bamba is a 60 overall CDM. He would be straight into the starting lineup at 5 foot 11. So we're going to offer him a contract. Uh, Kone, oh, 53 to 75 CDM. And up, straight out release. Uh, Hyunki Yun is a centre midfielder, 46 overall, 63 to 87. I'm going to leave him in the Youth Academy for now. Mock, 76 to 94. Henry Green, 79 to 94, right midfielder. So we've got some good right midfielders there in Green and Allen. Morgan White is a right back, 49 overall. We don't actually have a recognized right back. Uh, 67 to 91 potential. He's physically strong, so we're going to offer him a contract. And uh, Sheik Kamara, 56 overall, 67 to 85. Six foot five, decent reactions. And uh, I think he's already higher than Dior, so uh, let's offer him a contract. Charles Allen still coming along nicely, and Dobogo. All right, today's player upgrade will be for Kim. I thought he had a pretty decent episode. So if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, the right winger from Korea, uh, let me know in the comments. If you see something you like, make sure you smash the thumbs up on it, and we'll get that happening for you in a future episode. Right, so we wrap that one up. We've got our first two wins of the season, and that's pushed us up to 17th position with 12 points. And uh, I am fucking happy about that. Hopefully you enjoyed that episode. We will see you in the next one. I'm Spiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.